Family owned car dealers. Family owned sounds great, right? Generations of people doing the exact same thing, boiling down the process of selling cars to a science. There might have been a tip in there somewhere for you. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of The Homework Guy team. Another round of super high intensity training is being served up for you car buyers. If you like the Homework Guy videos and you want to sport some awesome swag like this here, is that the best you can do hoodie? Well, check the merch shelf down below. We appreciate your support. This is, by the way, my favorite hoodie in our merch store. Do you have car dealers in your area who market themselves as a family owned dealership? They market this crown of glory because it is generally believed that family owned businesses are better. Think about it. The level of commitment you get from close knit family members is almost impossible to generate in a non-family owned business. Solid commitment leads to a better understanding of the industry, the company itself, the individual jobs they offer, and the potential for stronger customer relationships. A couple questions to ponder. Do the benefits seen in other types of family owned businesses translate into a better car buying experience at a family owned car dealership? Does the family owned car dealer offer a more customer friendly environment or is it possible that they could actually be worse than any other dealer in town? We're going to put them under the microscope right after this short message from the Homework Guy team. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers and the best part is there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at the with a specific question, or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. The phrase family owned business carries a warm, fuzzy feeling for most people, and it can have big benefits for customers. I, for one, support many family owned companies by giving them my business, as do many of my friends. In fact, I drive extra miles to buy what I need from good principled business owners I know. The question is, does the common wisdom that applies to other types of businesses also apply to car dealers? Are family owned car dealers better than those who aren't a multi-generational business, as their advertising suggests? To understand this issue and flush out some answers, let's first look at other types of family owned businesses and why some of them actually fail faster than their non-family owned peers. Family owned businesses can fail because they make mistakes in the following key areas. Number one, poor succession planning. The next in line family member isn't always clearly established, leaving the upcoming son or daughter a bit bewildered when ownership gets dropped in their lap. Number two, lack of good trusted advisors. Keeping it all in the family doesn't necessarily generate the best ideas for improving business, and some family owned businesses, well, they don't interact much with the outside world. Number three, family conflict. Who hasn't heard of a good sibling rivalry and family fights? That kind of stuff can tear a business apart, taking it down very fast. Number four, different vision between the generations for where the company should go. What the grandparents or parents did, the son or daughter doesn't necessarily want to follow, creating some confusion and chaos later on. Number five, a lack of good business experience or financial education. The children growing up in the business may skip pursuing other educational opportunities and just learn from their family mentor. Instead of gaining new insights, they could be learning all the bad traits and repeating mistakes of the past. The business world is tough by any measure and it's certainly not a bowl of cherries for family owned businesses. Nearly 70% fail or are sold before they are passed on to the second generation and almost 90% don't make it to the third generation. When the youngsters grow up in the business without the same kind of stewardship and obligation as their parents had, they fail to treat the business or its employees with respect, leading to failure. Now, this was true of businesses in general, but is any of this true of car dealers? Is your hometown family owned car dealer better than those other guys, as their ads suggest? To answer this question, let's look at the same five issues and illustrate the influence each challenge can have in the car business. Number one, poor succession planning. This isn't true for the most part in a car dealership. I've known of many family owned dealers 
with direct experience on the inside and the outside of the dealership. Anytime a son or daughter was spending a lot of time in the dealership, even if there were multiple siblings, the who's next question seems to be pretty clearly established. I think there's a simple reason for this. It takes a special kind of character, if you know what I mean, to want to have selling cars as their future. I've noticed if the younger family members are there every day, they actually learn to like the dealer environment. They live for the challenge, the conquest, the mental maneuvering that the next customer presents. So think about something. The car business is a very slow to change beast. Does it add to the problem that people are growing up in the business, loving what they do for a living? Spend enough time around a dealership and then find that you can become very wealthy doing it? Well, you can easily justify behaviors you aren't likely to appreciate having done to you in any other business setting. Number two, lack of trusted advisors. This handicap is very true of car dealers. You can't find a better example of an echo chamber in business than a car dealership. Everybody knows about the fat swindles when they happen, but nobody talks about it. They know all the white little lies. Are family members in a dealership more likely to talk about that than others? No. In fact, it's a way of life that they justify and keep out of sight better than anyone else does. Without real outside influences and no real business-minded advisors to bounce honest questions off of, the young family members grow up in the business ready to adopt what they see and learn. Number three, family conflict. This could happen anywhere, but I don't think this is much of a problem in a typical car dealership. I've seen very little evidence that the family members don't like each other. In fact, there's kind of this feeling that we're in this together. They're pretty close-knit for the most part. I'll let you be the judge as to whether that's good or bad. Number four, different visions between the generations. While there is some evidence that this happens in multi-generational car dealers, it takes a serious awakening before the business model or focus takes a new direction. For the most part, the vision, the method, and yes, the madness that many of you strongly dislike about dealers, well, it continues on generation after generation. And finally, here's number five. Lack of good business experience and education outside of the company. Did I say echo chamber already? <laughs> I did. Unfortunately, Quite often, the upcoming generations who are waiting in line to take over the family-owned car dealership only have education on a car lot. This lot, the family-owned lot, the only thing they really know is selling cars. I don't know about you, but I've always looked for mentors in life who had very different character than a person who eats, sleeps, and breathes a car dealership environment. I'm just saying. So there you have it. I'm going to close with what I think is a funny story with an interesting twist of irony. We've had plenty of car dealers here come to the Homework Guy channel over the years, and it's not uncommon for them to object to us taking them to task for being dishonest and shady at times. Some of them say, you're giving the car business a bad reputation, like the car business had a sterling clean reputation before we began telling people about what car dealers do. Well, if that's true, shame on us. Yet, these very same dealers who complain about our videos, if you visit their dealership and tell them that you've been shopping around town, well, all of you know this is true. The first thing they'll say is, we're not like all those other guys out there. Family-owned dealers are particularly good at throwing every other dealer in town under the bus, explaining to you that everyone else, but not them, no, 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 everyone else will hose you. So. What do you think? Should you give a family-owned car dealer special consideration when you're car shopping? Should you drive out of your way to visit them, like I do for family-owned businesses in my area? Or should you be even more suspicious of them? My summary, the family-owned dealership is a special kind of echo chamber for stale ideas. The new generation grows up in the business without much outside influence. Everything the dealer does is seen as normal. The ends justify the means. They are proud of what they do, and the only thing they are likely to have ever known is selling cars. The car dealership environment is burned into their DNA. The picture you have in your head right now, well, that is what a family-owned dealership is all about. As one of our viewers, Louisa, said in the comments section, sorry, but family-owned and operated can translate to been honing those tactics for decades. Well, Louisa, 
I think you're onto something. <laughs> I hope this discussion about family owned car dealers added a helpful consideration to your future car shopping. It's the goal of everyone here on the Homework Guide team to turn you into the smartest and most knowledgeable car buyers out there, which is why we do all of these great videos you see here. The help is free, so make sure you check them all out. If we helped you hone your car buying skills today and you appreciated the video, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below using hashtag the homework guy. Share the video on social media with your friends and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our other social media sites and answer car buyer questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks for the tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links you see showing on the screen here, they'll be very easy to find in the description box down below. Tips fire up our team to do more videos for you. However, if you can't do a tip, no problem. Make sure you share our videos with your family and friends and encourage others to subscribe to the channel. That is huge. It helps us get the word out and defeat the bad guys in the car business who still haven't learned that fairness and honesty is the best business model. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.